Good morning everybody. Popsy's turn today with another story from Africa. This one is called The Leopard and the Ram. Hello everybody. Ram wanted a good place to build himself a new house. Then one day he was exploring the forest. He came to a clearing that seemed to be the perfect spot. Here is a light, dry place with plenty of wood to build my house, said Ram to himself. I shall fetch my tools and begin the work right away. While Ram went home to fetch his tools, Leopard arrived at the clearing and exactly the same idea. This is the perfect place to build a new house, he said to himself, and he started to gather the wood he needed. When Ram returned, he was surprised to see a great big pile of wood had been gathered for his house. There must be a kind spirit in the forest, he thought, and he got to work. The following evening, when Leopard arrived, he was astonished to find that the house had already been begun. Had already begun, even. It must be the work of a good spirit, he thought, and continued where the work had left off. They carried on this way, with ram building in the day and leopard working at night, never seeing each other until the house was finished. Then they both arrived to move in. At first, ram and leopard were astonished to learn the truth about their fine house. But after a friendly discussion, they decided to live in it together. All went well. Ram and Leopard both had sons who played happily together while their parents went out hunting. After a while, Leopard noticed that Ram caught just as much game as he did, that's food, even though he had no claws or sharp teeth. Leopard was curious to know how this was done, so he asked his son to find out from the young Ram. The next day, while their parents were away, a little leopard asked the young ram how his father hunted. I'll show you how he does it if you show me how your father hunts, said the young ram. And the little leopard agreed. They fetched two large pieces of plantain stem. Now a plantain stem is like a banana stem, stem of a tree. They fetched two large pieces of plantain stem and went into the woods. First, the little leopard propped up his piece of plantain. Fixing his eye upon it, he moved left to right, bowing and peeping just like his father did. Then he sprang forward and pounced on it. Bravo, cried his friend. Your turn, said the little leopard. The young ram put his piece of plantain in position, then backed away from it. When he was ready, he took aim, charged, and tore the plantain to shreds. That's how it's done, he said. That evening, the little leopard told his father what he'd learned. Beware, he said. If you ever see a ram go backwards, then you know he's about to charge. The leopard thanked his son for the information and good advice. A few days later, it rained, making the floor of the house very slippery. Leopard invited Ram to share a meal with him, as usual. But as Ram came to the door, he slid backwards on the wet floor. Remembering what his son had told him about Ram's hunting technique, Leopard feared that Ram was about to charge him. Run, he cried to the family, run! And they all fled out together, out of the house, across the clearing, and away into the woods. Ram and his son called them back. But the leopard refused to return, and from that day on, leopards have lived in the forest while lambs while rams have remained at home. That's it folks. Thank you. Good night. Good night everybody.